It feel a little cooler than the actual temperatures. There's no chance for rain in the forecast today. For WPTV News Channel 5, I'm Storm Team 5 meteorologist Glenn Glazer for 1230 WBZT. This report is brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Understanding your finances is a key to a strong financial future. Don't be the one who gets left behind. Visit feedthepig.org for tools and tips to get started on the path to financial stability. You can have peace of mind in retirement, just like crash-proof consumer Bruce Colucci of Havertown, PA. Crash-proof retirement is just what the words so state, and it has, for me, a longevity component to it and a security component. They're the most important things in my age bracket, which we were looking for anyway, but from the financial standpoint, and has protected growth. What else really could you ask for? This has been so easy and so comfortable. Since 2011, the Crash Proof Program has been an asset to us knowing that we have peace of mind with our funds in a given environment that is not only safe, but has the security and the upward mobility that we need. The next Crash Proof Educational events with Phil Canella and Joanne Small are happening Thursday, March 3rd at Benvenuto Restaurant in Boynton Beach. Register for the 11 a.m. event or the 5 p.m. event, both followed by a complimentary meal. Call 800-722-9728 or go to CrashProofRetirement.com. Our Florida Reefs is a community-based planning process for the future of Southeast Florida's coral reefs. Community representatives have drafted recommended management actions to better balance the use and protection of this valuable resource. We invite you to learn about and add your voice to the conversation by attending one of our upcoming community meetings in January and February of 2016. For a complete list of dates and locations, please visit OurFloridaReefs.org. Hello, this is Pryor Smith speaking from Toronto. The winter tourist season in Florida is just around the corner. Upwards of 4 million Canadians will be heading south. On Monday, November 2nd, Canada Calling, their daily update of news from home, will be back on the radio for the 62nd year. Join us right here on WBZT. That's Canada Calling each morning, Monday through Friday at 9 o'clock, and each Saturday morning at 8. Canada Calling, back for another winter season right here on 1230 WBZT. 1230 WBCT. Grace Notes Foundation at the Jupiter Academy of Music presents the 5th Annual Carousel Concert Thon at Downtown at the Gardens. On Saturday, February 20th from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. Come and enjoy free live music by students and professional musicians. Street musicians will play along the boulevard with two stages and also student musicians and special appearances by the Jupiter Academy of Music Beatles Tribute Band and the Tom Floyd Jazz Quartet. Ride the carousel and help raise funds for music scholarships for kids right here in Palm Beach County. We guarantee something for everyone at the Carousel Concert Thon. 1230 WBZT. The thoughts and opinions expressed are those of the sponsors and don't necessarily reflect those of this station or iHeartMedia. Lunchtime! So, how's your morning going up till now? It's noontime, and two boys from Brooklyn want to serve you a huge portion of humor for lunch. So, break out the lunch pail, or the sandwich you packed, and let Les and Freddie S. bring you jokes and nostalgia mixed in with important information about medicine, food, dating, or just the stuff you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. And if you have a story about anything you want to share, a bad date, a movie review, or just the strangest thing that happened to you at work, call in and join the fun toll-free at one 800 889 0267. Right now, sit back and let's start the lunch break. Freddie S. and Les are ready, so here are the boys. And good afternoon, Florida. Yeah, I'm getting this down. All right, you're getting you're doing getting terrific. I got, Today, peach, I got peach in my throat. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Today we got all sorts of surprises, twists, and turns. But before we get started, we want to thank Am2.tv, sponsor. We want to thank Health and Wealth, sponsor. Sky H2O and Liz, we hope that you feel better. Yes, we do, Liz. Yes. And Dr. Pinozo. And I was going to get to the. I'm the, sorry, the, the I got man, Liz already. She's not here and the, she's the, a the, part the, of the show. The, 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 <laughs> the, 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 me, the medical man who we did the seminar for yesterday, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a good time. The famous Dr. Pinozo, is he calling in today? Um, I never know. I never know. Okay. He's got so many patients now after the seminar, people just run to his, uh, run to his place to get fixed. Okay. Well, let's say hi to the board up, the pro, Mrs. Connecticut. Hi, Connecticut. Hola, Hola como esta? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I'm going to introduce first the madman. That's me. The man with a mic, 
what happens when you put two guys in a radio room and you get this maniac? <laughs> Less is more, Mr. Yes, Les Mayer. How are you, Les? I'm doing good, my friend. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm having trouble keeping my eyes off this most beautiful woman sitting here, and it's, it's going to be... You, you know, you're my favorite. Aww. She's my favorite flower. Oh. What flower would that be? Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Daisy. How are you, Daisy? Hello, everybody. Sedeno yeah. is on the set with us. So yes. We are going to have a <laughs> Latin flavor. No, you, you can, can eat, eat your it. Can okay, eat it. that's right. Okay. It's my show with you. Lunchtime. Oh. Right. lunchtime is all about eating. Everybody mm. in here is, is eating yes. um, pizza from Renzo. Renzo. From Renzo. Mm. So we Cafe are having, we are having, we're going to be Just like New York pizza. It it's amazing. Delicious. This is the closest thing in wow. Florida that I found to New York pizza. But we're going to have him on at 1230 yeah. to talk a little bit about mm -hmm. the pizzeria and his story and the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, great stuff. So you can... Keep talking. I didn't swallow you. Keep talking. You're funny, doing good. You know, and the funny thing is, that, <laughs> the funny thing is, I have you, everybody's watching you eat. Mm -hmm. You can watch today's show on Amp2.tv, uh, the video portion of it, or follow us on Facebook, uh -huh. Two Boys from Brooklyn. That's right. Um, and we're going to change Two Boys from Brooklyn soon to Two Boys from Brooklyn and the Dames. And the Dame. We can't do broad anymore because the, 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 the Dames, they got a little insulted to the broads. I the girls, the ladies. <laughs> we got a couple of female yes. dames. And, you know, last dames used to be something we used to call women in New York. Yeah. It wasn't, it was like anything else. Frank Sinatra's song always had the Dame. Okay. Yeah. That's right. The broad it's, was I more like it. Yeah. I like the sound of it. I think it's very remarkable. I think it's marketable. <laughs> <laughs> remarkable? Did she say remarkable? Both. Marketable. Both. Marketable. Remarkable. The two of you speak Spanish, and I understand her better than you. <laughs> Don't stop, because we go into the Latino lingo, and you're going to be oh, stuck God. without the merengue in your life, brother. Well, if that happens, I'm just going to eat my... Actually, the sauce is fantastic. I don't know what this guy did. Mm. It is really good. You can, As soon as you take a bite, you just feel like you're in New York yeah. already. Right? Oh, yes. yes. No? Oh, yes. Well, let's, oh, find yes. Out, let's find out a little bit about Daisy. Daisy, are you a New Yorker? Well, I have a lot of family in New York, in Washington Heights. That's right. Mm. And you know Dominicans. My, my sister still say, lives in Washington Heights. There you go. 186th Street. There you go. So I have a lot of friends over there, too. I mean, I'm Dominican. Oh, uh, no, really? Yes, I any, am any from single, Dominican Any public. single women that you know? Yes, I, ha I have a couple friends. Good. I'll well, hook well, you Daisy's up. No longer but I thought, you were, I, I thought you were married. What's going on? She's not listening. Daisy, this ah. between you and me. Are you married on Daisy? Okay, sorry. Scratch that. Scratch that. Can we edit that? But anyways, I am a radio personality, TV personality for the Hispanic market in the East Coast. I work for different radio stations. And what like are you doing? I do traffic updates, weather updates, light news, a little bit more fun, a little bit of satire. Do you, you know, do the vocals? Have fun. Yes, I'm the voice. Do you mm -hmm. have the voice? So, yes. So why don't you give us today's weather? Okay. To, today's weather, I don't have the information in front of me. Make, but I, make it up. Make yeah, it up as you go. No, we don't care. No, let's do the traffic. Traffic. In Espanol? Okay. In no, Espanol. no, in English. In English. English. Every, you told me you wanted to do everything I in know. English. I so know. I want to do you know everything what? in English. Good. You put me on the spot. That's right. Now, well, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to go back to Les. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to talk to Les for 30 seconds. Is she there? No, Les is there. Oh, Les. Okay. Not, Les, Liz. Not Les. Okay. Les. But I don't know if he's here anyway. And then we're going <laughs> to come, soon we're gonna come back to you in 30 seconds. Okay. And then you're going to... Don't gonna, look up the news. No, no, no. no. I'm going to go and check out Florida Highway Patrol to see if there's any accidents on I-95 or Turnpike so we can give the update okay, to our so viewers. I'm going to set, set it up. I'm going to set it up okay. and say... And now the news, okay? We're going to, you and I, we're going to talk a little bit. Oh Today's news is Donald Trump. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. What did <laughs> no, no. he do? Donald you're not, Trump? You're not the news guy. She's the news guy. Oh, what am I then? You're the guy taking pills. Listen, <laughs> I want to tell you something. Yesterday's show, yesterday's show got really wacky, wacky. <laughs> it got weird. Very weird. wacky. And then I come in here and the border, Connecticut, is watch, is hearing it again. And she's laughing. What were you laughing at? We were we were a riot. I'm sorry. I had a great time. I'm here. Oh, I just put my pizza out. I get guy. you. That's Daisy. why you can't eat on okay. the air, bro. <laughs> let me say this. I just had a brain fart. Oh, let me say this. I have another lady here that agrees with me that when you go into a sauna, you wear something. Am I Absolutely, right, Connecticut? Yes. Now the reason Liz has a cold or she could have mono or some kind of disease is because she goes in naked. That's naked. not fair. But no, naked. the only. You probably go in with a That's suit and tie. Not, no, I don't go with a suit and tie, but I'm not going to go in there in a bathing suit. This is just ridiculous. Hey, listen, I go to one in, in Miami Beach. It's the uh, Russian Turkish baths. Oh, God, I'd love to do that. Oh, I love it. Turkish baths was in Brooklyn. We used to go to Turkish baths with my the father. Same, it's the well, same you're not going to go into a bath, into a pool. With, no, with, but they have saunas, naked. and I'm not going to go in there 
when it's co-ed and a bunch of weirdos from out oh, of no, town. Co- co-ed I can see. Okay, then. But I don't go to co-eds. Well, I do. Well, you're right. I go to men only. That's what I do. In my gym, it's men only. Yeah. And there's women go only too. But I shouldn't, you know, they think I'm just one of the girls. So I go with the girls. And they all wear bathing suits when I'm in there. Really? Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question, okay? Well, do on, you remember the Turkish oh. baths in New York? I do not. Okay, I'll tell but you. I, well, we'll talk about there. Plato's Retreat. You, that I remember. Oh. That's woo-hoo. a whole other episode. Studio 54. That I remember. Oh, I remember. Give me a second. Give me a second. Go ahead. And now, you ready? Yes. And now, here is uh, two boys from Brooklyn. Here is the traffic. Hello, everybody. This is Daisy Cedeno. We have a situation in I-95 going north in Glades Road in Boca. We have an accident. It happened a couple of hours ago, but we're still working on it, so be careful out there. In Broward, we have a couple situations. One in Oakland Park Boulevard, I-95 going south, and another one going to Deerfield Beach, I-95 going south also. Be careful out there. This is Daisy Cedeno with your traffic update. Whoa. Yeah, I did it. You have it. Let me tell you. Now, let me tell you about I-95. You can always tell there's an accident somewhere. I know, right? I'm driving. <laughs> a, let me ask you a question. This has been plaguing me ever since I, I drove in Florida. On the south side, there's an accident. But on the north side, everyone stops to see who it is. I know. That happens a lot. Why? Especially, yeah. I think it's a little bit of curiosity because especially in Palm Beach, not too many things going on no. compared to Miami or Broward. Oh. So when you see something going on in Palm Beach, like maybe Jupiter also... A little bit of Palm Beach Gardens, slow. You stop. Sometimes you do. But I, you shouldn't. That's I, very I, I dangerous. I never stop. I keep, oh, you see what That's they have now on the expressway? Yes. The people who drive in the right-hand lane and they don't go the, the speed now, it's $121 yeah. fine. It should be $221. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, you have to be careful out there because you can cause another accident yes. at the same yeah. time. I'm going to I'm gonna take the two boys from Brooklyn mobile. Yes. And when there's an accident, I'm going to come on the opposite side, pull over. Sell popcorn and soda. No, I wanted I, I wanted to do donuts. You want to do donuts? Yeah. Who's going to buy a donut on the... The cops! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so all you police guys, I, I drive a red Ford pickup. So if you see me... Oh, my goodness. No, you don't. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't want to let them know. I'll give you exactly what he drives. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's go on. So now here's, here's my pet... Now give me, your, give me your story. What were you saying? I, you're not going to believe this, but I actually forgot. Oh, <laughs> Turkish baths in New York. Oh, Tur- okay. Turkish, here's a one she thing. Don't remember Thank you. She don't forget that. I don't know about you, Freddie. Yeah. I don't ever want a man giving me a massage. I don't oh. know what it is, and, I, and I'm not... I'm not saying anything. Okay. I want a woman to give me a massage, because here's what I mean. You'll feel secure of yourself, or you feel a little bit... No. He, well, feels, he feels insecure. Because if you, I mean, you have he to gets be... He gets turned out by that the That could fact. be double sore being there. <laughs> There's, I don't know if double you're trying sword. to tell us something. No pun intended, but double I think, I think the truth is... So we should us. know you don't have to worry about me, right? I, no. Exactly. No, I, I, we do have to worry about you. I think you get turned down by the fact. Well, listen to me. And giving Are you, you feeling a, a little bit uncomfortable? Is that what it is? Are tell you insecure? When, when, a guy, when a guy's going don't you? Near, near my two buddies and my other friend, and his hand is over there, I'm always afraid. That he's going to touch it. Yeah, and it's going to move. And I'm First of all, you don't get a massage Oh, that he's going to... Okay, that's you different. Wait, wait, I'm afraid. Where are you going? Okay. You don't get a massage there. Yeah, oh yeah, you, you do. No, 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 no. There's no. There's some um, areas that they yeah. go. Yeah. That they go. That they go. Well, I want to know where that happy ending is coming from because every time I go, <laughs> they don't do that. Forty uh, Eighth Street. Uh, there's a Swedish. <laughs> whatever, whatever. whatever. Let's move on. If you want a great massage, here's my tell. Don't go to the back page of the New York, of the New York of the Times, <laughs> the News Times that they sell that the free magazine. It's got twenty-seven year old woman wants to make every man happy. Okay. And then you go there and she's 27, but she's three feet tall and 196 pounds. Okay. She's not going to make me happy. No, no, no. Hey, Les. Yes? Your wife is on the line. She wants to know what the hell you're doing looking at the back page of the New York Times. Well, I'm, I'm trying to find out if anyone needs help in advertising. Yeah, right? There you go. Yeah, there you go. All right. So you don't want men touching no, you? No, I don't. Massage. All right. Well, I got a massage for from uh, from women for, for many years. Right. And I then, got massages. But yeah. one day I went to the spa. And they told me, Miss uh, Daisy, we don't have your, you know, the person that usually gives you the massage, but we have Anthony. A male. A male. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> no. a li- I know. I yeah. feel a little bit weird because with women, you just take off your towel, yeah. you just feel free. 
but with a male, but said, I said, you know what, I'm going to try. try. And after that, I ask for males sometimes, really? not all the time, because the pressure is more, more intense. firm, more firm. Yeah. With women, if you try one time, maybe you will not even feel it. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm Daisy, not, I don't want to say anything, but you get me a little excited right now. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. It's I'm more firm. You rather have it a man? You rather? Have, it is more firm. More firm. The pressure. What's, what's she talking about here? <laughs> the pressure in your mouth. Connecticut. Boss. What the hell is she talking about here? Right here in this show. Connecticut. I've, help oh, me out, has, please. He has stronger right, hands. Right I've always the wanted. The pressure. To, I've always wanted something to be firm when I'm going for a massage. Right, That's so, all I can say. Dirty old man. All right. So let me get this. Hold right. it. It is. Eight hundred eight eight nine zero two six seven. Do you want a man to do you if you? That doesn't sound right. To do a massage. Do you want a man to massage you? Sir, please reword. That question. Okay, if you're a man, would you rather have a woman massaging you or a man massaging you? If you're a woman, would you rather have a woman massaging you or a man massaging you? I just feel more comfortable because you know what? There's something about a woman's hands that that really a, a it's nice. a mom thing. You just feel yeah, yeah. nurture. It ain't a mom thing. First of all, you, you don't want a man. If you're a guy, you don't want a guy touching you. That's not. Yeah, one. and then when the guy you go when the guy says the first thing he says, you know, you can take off your underwear. But I'm gonna tell you something. I don't take my underwear off even for my wife. I, I know what? That. He wears the same thing all week. He wears the same thing all week. That's, That's it. it. I'm not gonna show it to you. Listen, no, 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 stop, no, no stop, please. Stop, stop, That's that kind of show. Save now, it for pay per view. The bottom, the bottom line is this: when you play. Right? <laughs> when you play when you play sports, okay? yes, that's a good point that you're going and, to mention. And, and the uh, and the trainers are all men. That's right? a great point. And and you have to have men massage you and everything else and take it. And they're like, oh, oh, hi, man. And, and, you, know, and you know what? A lot of the guys are gay. No, a lot of no. the guys. A lot of the guys. <laughs> okay. Except except. <laughs> no, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Except the except the <laughs> except the uh, the touch because it is more firm and they know it what is. they're doing. It is more firm. Um, so I think that when you pay for a service, as opposed to being an athlete being paid for, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that you just have a sexual sense that you'd rather have a woman touch you. I, I don't think ah. it has anything to do with pressures and touches. No, let me explain something. When, no. you're, when you're married 45 years... No, you don't want to say that, right? but I'm being Donald Trump no. here. I do the truth. Yeah, sometimes the you truth. go to do exercise and you just want a massage. Yeah. I feel a lot of, yeah. a lot of tension yeah. right here. You know if you have tension there, go see Dr. Pinoza. He'll get yeah, rid you of know what, You know what, Daisy? It, the amazing thing is that you would let a man give you a massage, uh -huh. but you won't go naked into a sauna. With women. nobody's touching you and it's all women. So I got your That's fiance is on point. the he's on the uh, on the, line? Is he on the phone. On the, no, no. <laughs> no, but I got a text. By, by the way, the, my favorite flower is the rose. Do we have rose coming in? No, I have a text. I think Gio sent me to what's your favorite flower because you said my favorite flower was the daisy. Well, look, I mean, this is a beautiful flower sing right oh, next to me. Thank you. My favorite thank flower you. Is this is the first time I'm not cursing on the air because I don't want to embarrass her. Yeah, Aww. no cursing on the air. All right, what time we got? We got 12.20. Should we take our breaks now so we can... Well, I, I just want to say some, uh, a PSA because uh, there's a lady here every Wednesday called Big Dog Ranch Rescue. Where I know, she brings, this place is full of dogs. Today. And she... Uh, and, and I saw how you fit in with... Uh, I fit in with a lot of dogs. It is the biggest shelter in the southeast there's over 300 dogs and if you want to see the, uh, a dog that you might like uh, it's at www.bdrr.org www uh, www.bdrr.org it's called the Big Dog Ranch Rescue it's 561 791 Six four six five, and they're always there. You know, these dogs are the cutest ones, and you know, so they, they want to hold. So, all those dogs you were playing with over there, yeah. all for uh, take home? Yeah. Uh, How much does it cost to get a dog? Uh, nothing. Oh. You just have to pay for the license and, mm -hmm. and for the medical stuff are that they serious? give. Are you serious? Yeah. I did that for I, another place in Boca Raton. They, they just want you to adopt. Which is beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. Just well, you're getting married. Would be a great gift for your husband. Yeah. I think. I have to you talk to him three. about. <laughs> I think the great gift for my husband is her. I want to get married. <laughs> is, it ma is it marriage That's nice? Funny. Yes. You know you, always, you know you always have a date, right? Yes. Okay, you on know, Fridays, we, we have a date every night, every Friday. That's right. Oh, yeah. that's so beautiful. And then yeah. on Sundays, you have a fight every Sunday. That, anyway, <laughs> let me tell you listen. something. That'll last for about two years, okay? <laughs> All right, well, let's hey. do this. Let's cue up the uh, the commercials, take a commercial break. Then when we come back, we're going to play He Said, She Said. Ah, good. Give us the phone number if you want to call. Phone number is 800-889-0267. You can talk to me, Les. You can talk to Freddie S. You can talk to Connecticut and the beautiful Daisy. All right. We'll we will be, be back. We'll be back on the other side.
please welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies including Comcast, Bravo and Fox 29 as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more visit their website at amp2.tv that's amp the number 2.tv or call them at 1-866-224-5422 that's 866-224-5422 have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars and just find out those ideas just don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carry advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. Could one conversation change your life? When was the last time you talked and worked with someone, the right someone, the right health practitioner about your health and wellness? When was the last time or maybe the first time you received the personal attention and the individual program you deserved? Because no one program works for everyone. And the only program that will work is the one that is truly yours. Coaching for Health is a hands-on, customized health and wellness program that truly will change your life. Susie Bricker, a certified health coach, will be your personal advocate for living an energized and healthy life. She works with her clients to help them create and maintain a way of life that's healthy, flexible, fun, free of denial, and last but not least, gets results. By working together, bio-individual programs and lifestyle changes are made that are sustainable and that best support and target the individual needs and goals of each client. For more detailed information, please go to Coaching for Health's website at coachingforhealth.net or email Coaching for Health at susan.brickercoachingforhealth at outlook.com. Get the results you're looking for now and for the future and give yourself the gift of great health and wellness that you so richly deserve. Do you want to know what's happening in your life? Are you pining over a lost love? How about money? When to move? Things going awry at business? Or you're just curious about what's going to happen next? Then you need to call WBZT on Tuesday mornings at 8.15 a.m. and connect with me, Hallie Elise, your top 100 psychic. That's right, the empowerment psychic, Hallie Elise. I will help you get the answers that you need. And I will help you in a way that's calm and peaceful, that makes you feel really good. So be sure to call in to WBZT on Tuesday mornings at 8.15 a.m. at 800-889-0267. That's 800-889-0267. I look forward to speaking with you. You're lunching with two boys from Brooklyn who invite you to advertise on their show. Share your good news. Just call 888-224-5422 and get all the information. There are plenty of options and this could be a great chance to get the word out about your business or service. That's 888-224-5422. Now let's get back to those two boys from Brooklyn. And you're back. And I want to say, to, like everybody else, Dr. Pinozo, the pain whisperer, at 561-381-5800. It doesn't matter if you have 
pains in your neck, mm -hmm. migraine headaches, okay. a shoulder pain, back pain. He will guarantee that when you get to him, he will cure it. Wow. Guaranteed. Without surgery. Nothing. Without drugs. Mm -hmm. So I said to everyone out there, what I would do if I had that kind of pain before the doctor told me to go in for surgery, I would definitely go see Dr. Pinoza. I mean, Freddie goes to him, I go to him, his son goes to him, half of I heart rate. So if you have pains in your shoulder, right here. you tell him Wes sent you, okay. and he will guarantee you will have no more pain. If you want to give him a call at his office, it's 561-381-5800. Don't be surprised when the doctor answers his phone. And again, Doc, I hope you're listening. I hope you're taking care of all our patients. And I will see you soon on your show on Sunday. Thank you. Freddie, it's yours. You're funny, the way you do that. All right, you want to? Yes, I want you guys to go to the Facebook. We just put a couple pictures from us over here, from oh. me, so that you can check uh, who we are and everything. And you just have to go to Two Boys from Brooklyn and find us there. And just press like. We want a lot of likes. Yes. Yes. Uh, did you take a picture of yourself, I hope? I did, I did. Watch how many likes we get now, Freddie. That's right. We, 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 we <laughs> Thank mar God. We marketing geniuses. Oh, yeah, we bring, a, <laughs> we bring a pretty hot lady on our show. Like, 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 like. So now go to your game. You said you had a game you yes, want to play. Yes, we have uh, a game. And Liz, if you're out there, uh, we wish your grandmother a speedy recovery. Yes, we do. Mm. We have a segment called um, He Says, She Says. Okay. And one of the things that people were writing in about, because we're asking anybody if you want to go to amp2.tv and leave a comment, you can do that. And they said the difference of uh, blind date versus internet dating. Mm. Mm. We both did that at the same time. Yes. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that internet, I mean, I don't do internet dating anymore, but when I was in college. They didn't have an internet. Yeah, they did. The AOL, when I was in college, you know how you got someone with the two the cans? AOL used to have chat rooms. Oh, I didn't have that's that. That's how you used to do it. Oh, okay. And then they started to do all this dating stuff to go on there. And, and, and it grew up the way you had to pay f to post your personality, mm -hmm. your profile. Nice. So I want to know the difference. Mm -hmm. When you go on a blind date or you go on a date on the Internet, first of all, a show that we do, another person had a picture that was sent to her, Lisa. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even the guy. Oh, yes. Oh, and she scary. chased the real guy down and said, somebody's using your picture on the internet. Oh, yeah, that's right. The guy with the, oh, yeah. The muscles. Right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, goodness. you said the guy with it looked like you had the. Nico, Nico <laughs> from, is. oh, Freddie, Nico from the pizza place is on. I want to talk to you. You want to yes. talk to him now? Well, we're going to set that up in a second. Nico, we'll be right with you, my friend. We'll be right there. I'm but eating your that's pizza, gonna Nico. That's going to be today's He Says, She Says, so give out the number to call in for that. That's 800-889-0267. Excellent. Now. I found a gentleman who has a pizza, mm. and a. Uh, are you ready, Connecticut? You ready? I didn't mean to wake you up, sweetie. I know it's been a long day. No, no, Connecticut's gonna set this up. Okay, okay, set up. Go ahead. For uh, for uh, what was the question again? <laughs> who do we have on the line? <laughs> we have Nico from the pizzeria. Ah, from what's the name of the pizzeria? It's Renzo's Cafe and Pizzeria in beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. Connecticut, Thanks. you have to say it with a Renzo. Renzo. With oh, Italian. Renzo, Italian. Italiano. Italiano. I don't okay. care how you say it, but this freaking pizza is good. So it is good. It's, it, it, is that real New York Do you like pizza? the address? Yeah. Put them on. Put them on. I'll put them on. You know, the funny thing is that we, two boys from Brooklyn, started looking for Pieces. pizza that was like New York. Exactly. And I ran into this place, and mm. I said, I got to bring this on the air. This is unbelievable. Is he on? Yes. I'm Who's right this? here, yeah. Hey, right? Nico, let me tell you, my man. Uh, really good. I mean, I'm going to say this is about the closest thing to New York pizza that I eat. Nice and good. Your sauce is freaking yes. great. We're all sitting here eating it, and the sauce is incredible. Incredible. Well, that's awesome everything. to hear. Yeah. It, do, you, do you make that sauce every day yourself? Yes, we make everything ourselves here at the place. Wow. Nico, where is the address to the pizzeria? It is 1906 Clintmore Road. It's right off of Military Trail. Oh, I'm going there with my and, wife. And what time do you open and close? We open every day at 11 o'clock in the morning and close at 9 o'clock. Except Sundays, we open at 12. And you have other things other than pizza, oh, Corey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm Sorry? telling you, uh, you have other things other than pizza, like all the different uh, Italian dishes? Oh, yeah, we do. Whatever Italian food you're looking for, we have it on the menu. Give me one of your, one of your, favorite, your favorite meals. That My favorite thing is eggplant parmesan. One of my favorites. I would have to say that's the chicken broccoli. Ooh, I love chicken mm. broccoli too. Wow. That's good. That one is amazing here. Listen, Nico, the I sauce. want you to create, to create a pizza pie 
and call it Two Boys from Brooklyn. I like that oh, idea. Oh, yeah. I and like what we're going to do is we're going to make a campaign. We're going to, because you guys make a lot of pizzas. Yeah. You should, you should see these we guys. We do, yeah. These guys are like machines all day making pizza. You know, pie. you got me so hungry, I'm having another slice. Okay, <laughs> but I, say one for Connecticut because she's hungry. It has to have a, a special flavor because it's, you have to remember it's Two Boys from Brooklyn. Oh, so it has to be a little bit mad, a mm. little bit calm, a Go little bigger. bit crazy. So. Be but, careful with those ingredients. You know, you're scary the way you eat pizza. <laughs> I folded but it. anyway, the way Les is eating the pizza, he folds the pizza. So we have a club called That's the, the Fold. Way. The yeah. Pizza mm -hmm. Folding Club. That's the way right. to do it. That's the way to That's do right. it. That's right. You fold it. I don't know what's going on with one. Connecticut, but, you know. She and folds it the other way. I never heard of that. She folds. She eats I it at the crust. I just felt offended when I saw it. I was like, <laughs> what is that that she's doing to that poor pizza? Get over it. <laughs> but but Nigo, I'm going to bring the crew down there one night so we can all have pizzas. And we're going to order the two boys from, I have you on the camera, two boys from Brooklyn Pizza Pie. You know what I'm talking about. Right. right? Sounds amazing. Yeah. Well, I can say I mean, the guy's pizza is phenomenal. All right. You don't talk. They say you talk. It is. It's very, very good. Mm. You like it? It is incredible. Do how you long? want another slice? Yeah, yeah, we got more. Yeah, we'll give them more. Hey, awesome. Nico, how long you been in business? How long you been in the area? Tell us a little bit about the story of your place. Okay, this place has been here for around 10 years, I believe. But the new owner has been in charge for about five years now. Okay. His name is Roberto, and he, he was born in Mexico and came to the U.S. in 1990, I believe. Uh -huh. And he's been yeah in charge for five years now. So he's been running this place for quite a while. And there you have it. You you have a Mexican making New York pizza. Did he? Did you guys ever make people's pizza in New York? No, he's been here the whole time. Like he's been in other different uh, restaurants and Italian places, but he's not been in New York. Well, I don't care if it's Mexican. I don't care if he's Jewish. You can make pizza like this. Yeah, this you got unreal. it. You got the recipe. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, you got it. And let me ask you, why is your sauce so much different? Yeah. I know the thin crust is, is something you can control, but the sauce, what's so different about the sauce? Why is it so different? Am I right, Dave? Is that amazing? No, it's actually got the Latino flavor added to it. All right, yay! Latino yay. flavor, I'm Mexicano. just saying it has a Latino flavor in there. You see, <laughs> you see why... Do you, you see why Daisy's on with us <laughs> and the Mexican pizza maker? Daisy knows her stuff, man. I'm okay. I'm telling you. Oh, he sure knows what he's doing. <laughs> yes, he does. Beautiful. All right, give us, give, give him the phone number and the address one more time. Do it nice and slow. Okay, perfect. That is 1906 Clintmore Road, right off of Military, and our phone number is 561-994-0170. Beautiful. And you deliver? We do deliver, yes. We deliver all deliver, the time. I deliver to West Palm Beach? <laughs> that, oh, that's mean. That's mean. Well, you know what? On my way up, I'll be more than happy to pick them up. We'll put Nico on the air one day. We'll yeah, Nico, a, you we'll come on a, the air one day and talk about, about pizza. So, and when, we, when we go down and do a remote, he can show how to oh, make I pizza. Oh, I love that. I love Let's that do idea. a remote down there. We'll we do should a do a remote one day. Well, you know what we could do? We could do the uh, special of the day. How to make a pizza? How to make the two boys from pizza? The two boys from Brooklyn Pizza. <laughs> oh, we can work on that one. That's no problem. Fantastic, yeah. my man. Really appreciate it. Appreciate thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Uh, okay, now let's get back to your game. You said, okay, so we're going back to, would you rather do internet dating, dating, or would you rather? Oh, Liz oh, is on the phone. Let me get Liz on here so we, she can be oh, part we're of gonna this. do She's blind. Gonna hey, Liz. Liz. Hello, Liz. 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 Hi. Well, yes. I have to tell you before we get into the dating, uh -huh. I am on the corner, ironically, of Clintmore Road and Military Trail, and I've been <laughs> driving around in circles looking so for Nico's because so I was going to surprise listen. you, listen, and I is, don't know which corner it's in. This is what you're going to do. You go to Clintmore and Military, I'm, you make a right, you go down two blocks, it's on your left-hand side, it's a small little mm, um, maze, like a little shop. So is it is it west or east of Military? It's heading west from Military. West. Okay, so I've made a U-turn like three times. I was going to try to surprise you and show up in the restaurant, but I kept no, saying, this I'm is, here. No, listen, and then listen, I listen. marketing, marketing, surprise. marketing. This is what I want you to do. I want you to run into that mm -hmm. and say, is this the pizzeria that there was just go. on WPC? Yes, please do it. That's what I'm I want a do, pizza, two boys from Brooklyn. Yes, Good go, go in there. Making, I'm going west on Clintmore right now. I'm passing the CVS I pharmacy. Yes, pass right? that. Right? Yes. And we're going to do a little surprise for Nico. I'm passing CVS Pharmacy. Right, get in your left I'm hand going lane. Past the fire rescue. Yes, keep going. Keep going. I feel and like a GPS now. <laughs> the GPS keeps saying I'm here, but I'm not here. It's going to be on your left hand <laughs> side. It's at the light, you're going to make a left into this little mall. 
1900 block. Got it. Got it. I'm next to like a Lucky Express Renzo's Cafe Pizzeria. No, that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. Go right in there. Okay, I'm going to go in there. So, I'm, are there dogs in the house there? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I'm not there. I'm the biggest dog lo- lover in the whole world. Or well, you'll probably take home two dogs and a guy if you if you come in here. This is I like know. It's everywhere. better that I'm not there because I rescue every animal on the street. So let's get back to our original thing that Freddie put out there. To see, who, uh, Say that again, what you're oh. talking about. Well, the question... All well, right, let, here we let go. Let's go in there and order a slice. Say you want two boys from Brooklyn Sites. But the question of today is blind dating versus Are computer you dating. Are just on two boys from Brooklyn? Ooh, I'm the board. Hold on a minute. Say Hello there. Hey, Yang. Hey, how you hey. doing? Woo-hoo. That's your first client. Now I'm going to hear she to try this on the radio. Pizza. She's going to order 10 pizzas. <laughs> and I, I'm going to have a slice of pizza and give it a try. <laughs> That's all you can get is a slice of pizza. Get a whole pie. Exactly. 10 pies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, no. i got to watch I'm my weight fillers or I'm never going to find a, a, a man from Brooklyn. Well, let's, okay. <laughs> here's the thing. Internet. Or blind date. Yes. Internet or Internet blind dating. Internet dating. Like, like plenty of fish. Okay. Or so the JD. big difference between an internet and a blind date is that when you're on the internet, you're reading all about these people, what they want to tell you, which is most of the time BS. You go and you show up on the date. They're completely different, 10 years older, mm-hmm. 30 pounds fatter. Your expectations are really, really um one thing, but you get something else. When you're on a blind date, you don't really have any expectations except somebody you know set you up with somebody they think mm-hmm. is perfect for you. So it's almost better because you don't you don't get let down. But when you go on an internet date, it's just like, why did I come here? You you look nothing like your picture. You're not even the same person. So it's well, just, I I'm gonna like it's I'm gonna tell down. you why. When you're on internet dating, you try to learn who the person is mm-hmm. you don't first. Go, you don't go by pictures. If you go by pictures. You might as well go to the blind date rule because it is what it is. Was my sister-in-law who was divorced, she went on the internet. She got divorced first? No, so she got divorced. She went. I asked my wife, could I, jo- could I join um, Yahoo.com because I want to look for a new wife? No. So she went on the internet and, you, and guess who showed up? You. Her, ex, her ex-husband. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't no, work that's like That's funny, but I, you will be surprised I'm all the people that... I, because I am I, internet. So... <laughs> You will be surprised the people that it's a it's a shame, but they are with somebody and they are kind of dating online too, both at the same <laughs> now, time. Now, have you ever dated anybody online? No. Have you ever no. gone to a website? Blind, blind date. I've blind gone, date. Like, but I am getting married. Yeah, so, yeah, no, no, this yeah, is in the past. I know. This is the past. You were getting this is, married. This is the past. The past. Way if, in if the past. Way well, like, uh, like five years ago. Uh, that's I the mean, past. The past to me is when Lincoln was president. That's a, <laughs> that's you know, right. I you sat were right, a child. Oh, I sat right next to him when they, when they, shot, the, when they shot him. Yeah, I, I said, that. I know who that is. I heard that joke. Oh, my about. God. Hey, Connecticut, blind dates you, are better. Hey, Connecticut, you yeah, have, have you ever done a blind date? I like yes. how I like how she says blind date. She says blonde date. Like oh, blonde. I, my the blonde dates are like, okay. It's my accent. <laughs> and what can I tell and you? And I'm going to give you a take on Latinos <laughs> as opposed to Anglos in, in the blind date business. But you're Latina. Have you been on blind dates? Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And have you been you on internet dates? Never. Okay, guys, now, I'm about to try this fabulous pizza. They were very generous to let me try here. Here okay, we go. Try and let us know what you Ask think. Ask me if I'm folding it or if I'm holding it straight. Oh, God. <laughs> you have to take a video. Yeah. Come on. Oh, take my a God. It's post. amazing. A, a, a video, take a video or a and picture. send it to them. <laughs> yeah, it's like New York. Yeah, told it's you. It's the best pizza. Oh, my God, it's delicious. It's that sauce, Liz. There's something about that sauce that's yeah. unbelievable. It is, it is the sauce. It is. You know what it, it is? It's the oil. You know ingredient. you're right. Yeah. I tell you, it's, it's the, the oil. I'm looking at it. When I was a girl in Brooklyn, you remember I used that to far a bunch of napkins and stick the napkins <laughs> to the pizza to, to absorb all the oil. And the, one day a pizza guy said to me, what are you doing? You're putting all the dirt from the napkins on the pizza. It's disgusting. Take the napkin off, eat the oil. That's the best part. Hold it. And I'm so the guy had dirty napkins, napkins in his in restaurant? Good old New York Brooklyn oil. <laughs> And, no. she, and I didn't know she was a girl when she was a girl in Brooklyn. You were a girl in Brooklyn? A girl in Brooklyn? I was. I grew up in Brooklyn. A woman in Bronx. Don't eat with your mouth full. Didn't your mother always tell you that? <laughs> yes, finish the pizza. <laughs> okay, so, so the bottom the pizza, line here is that more Latino pizza. women okay. do blind dating. Oh, there you go. So. Is that true? I think, I think blind dating. But I'm going to tell you why. 
Why? Because they feel more secure? No. Has nothing to do with it. Yeah, because their that. abuelita's like, French set them up. That's why. Well, yeah, that, because that's, abuelita's that's French. A, that's a Jewish trait. <laughs> there are more Latinas that do blind date because on the internet, uh-huh. Latin women with their temperament. Ooh, why, why are you saying they have, they, about they have us? Temper. Oh, my oh God. I love Latin women. Latino women will end up going berserko zerko. If in my next in life, I'm marrying a Latin person. woman. They are, they are. We're very. That's you're Wait, confusing so what, what that are you for saying passion. There, right? You're saying no, that no, the, no. that the Latin men around. don't lie they're when they're on the internet me. because they're afraid of the Latin women showing up. <laughs> no, no, she, no, he's saying Latin, <laughs> Latin women mostly do blind dates. We got two women in here. Don't do internet dating. They did blind dates, and because it's very we feel true. More secure. How can a blind date be more secure? Oh, I'll tell you what, because I'll tell my you. friend hooked me up so I can kill him after, True. I guess. My <laughs> other sister, my other sister, Laura, uh, 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 does what you do. Uh, she, she went, uh, you know, she had a blind date and they met at a coffee shop. You know, nothing, no dinners, nothing. She, she, there was a lot of people on the outside, like in Bo- some place in Boca, and they and she felt very comfortable there. She doesn't want a blind date picking her up at her house. Mm-hmm. So they sat out there where a lot of people no, were. No, exactly. That's what yeah. they do. And then she said, you know, uh, he, he said, uh, I'd like, I like to give you my number. Or could, and she said, no. She said no. No. She said, you know what, I, we had well, a nice time. Well, let me time. ask a question. You go to a bar. Guy buys you a drink. You like mm-hmm. the guy. You size him up. You say yes. You say no. What's the difference between that and a blind date? Well, because it wasn't set up. Here's, you, you came How to How do you know it wasn't set up? You don't have the, uh, you're not... You don't have any kind of uh, obligation yes. to sit yeah, down there. Yeah, oh, so, <laughs> so this is about obli- go to the bathroom so and this is not about come ob- back. This is about obligation. Oh, I did that once when I before I got married. My my cousin set me up with a girl. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Congratulations. Now, I'm, I'm six. I'm six foot. She was three foot nine. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. Three foot nine. Yeah. Well, she was a little. Uh, I you know you three? know that thing about sh- short women dwarfs. Okay. But anyhow, no, she wasn't. She was about four, five, five, one. Okay. And Petit. she was the most boring person I ever met. Ah, uh, there you go. And I want to kill my cousin. Yes. So I said, does anyone want popcorn? And so yeah, bring popcorn, bring me a drink. I left. Why? Yeah. I took the subway Besides, home. We're still not dealing with the issue of what is the main differences between these two things. Well, I'm telling we're you, about what, our experiences, but what is we, really so different about them? Well, we're trying to dig as to security. Yeah. Now we now we found that Especially obligation. Especially this day and age. Mm-hmm. Obligation, because if you go on a date from the internet, there are certain obligations. Yes, something's gonna no, something's well, gonna come. Are there? Somebody's gonna ask you, "Why are you doing that? What are you gonna say to them?" Mm-hmm. None of your business. Yeah, well, that ain't what do you mean? Well, I don't understand. What you, obligations are business? there if you're on a blind, da- if you're on a date on the internet? There's no well, obligation. No, I, I understand one thing. If somebody is a friend of mine and kind of tried to get me a date, oh, yeah, that's da, 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 different. Yeah. And and she says or he says, "Hey, Daisy, uh, he's wonderful. He's this and this and that." Go out with him one time. Yeah. I work with him. I go to lunch with him every now and then, and he's a great guy. I just want you to meet. Somehow, you feel a little bit, okay, I'm going to at least sit down the whole night because he's a friend of a friend. Yeah. So that I agree. Down. There's an obligation if it's a blind date. Exactly. I thought you said there was an obligation if there was a internet. No, no obligation with the internet. No, oh, just... yeah, no obligation. Okay, my misunderstanding. Sorry. Peach is so good it distracted me. <laughs> I know. It's, the brain is like still working on the pig set. That's what it is. It is. We yeah, actually took a, a nice little picture here. We'll put it. We'll post it on a Facebook later. Yes. But you're but you're right. What you said. Yeah. You you yeah. you figure. But your friend is asking you, telling yeah. you, they they. They should know better, though. They know your personality. They know the kind of guy to fix you up. But with. you're right. You do. You feel bad if it doesn't work out when it's something that someone yeah. took a personal yeah. time to set you up with. Yeah, I agree. Because on an internet, you can be whoever you want. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, and nobody really is going to know. And the I don't care because I'm not going to see this person ever in my life. But with the other person, right. you kind of maybe go to a party and he's right. there. And he's there, so you want to be so nice about it. Yeah. At least nice, and also perhaps say, ah, I'm just taking my time right now. You give yeah. an excuse if you don't like the yeah. guy, at least. But with the internet, but the question like, I don't like is you, that's still, it. which is better? Internet dating or blind dating? Which actually works better? Well, I think internet which, dating... The which problem, ends it, up in marriage more? Uh, match.com. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think when you do an internet dating, this is just my, my, my philosophical uh-huh. thing, is if they wouldn't lie... And they'd say, "Look, I'm uh, I'm so I'm a 73 year old guy. I you know I have a daughter, blah." And they and the expectation is, "Here's the guy I'm meeting." Mm-hmm. And when he comes in, that's the guy. He didn't lie mm-hmm. because if you say if you show a picture that's not real, 
I would be kind of offended if a girl shows me a picture of that how she was 20 years ago. That but it happens awful. all the time. Yeah. But that's what they do. That's what they do. The, the, the funny thing is my brother met his wife on a blind date. And yeah. they're married yeah. 15 years now. Two kids. So, you know, it does work sometimes. Yes. I, picked my, I, I met my wife at the Fountain Blue Hotel at a, a swimming pool. Fixed her up with my best friend. There you go. I met my fiancé in an old-fashioned way. Friends. Yeah. Well, that's what most the of them only mean, yeah. one of the four of us that's actually internet dating. It can be fun. I mean, I'm on a couple okay. of different websites. Oh, I websites. thought that was I Freddie. I don't want to mention it out loud. <laughs> I thought uh, Freddie was internet it, dating. Freddie, pay attention to the show. I am. Okay. He's hey, posting I, something online. Are you posting? No, no, I'm, I'm doing something else. But I used to do, I, and I was going to tell you about Plato's Retreat. And oh, God. Ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, real, real bad places. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Real bad places in New York. I went, I went there. Um, I was there at uh, Studio 54. Plato's Retreat, they closed it down because of That's all That's not the, dating. I'll tell you but later that. But that was blind that? dating. I'm going to tell you, you say hello. Yeah. That's not dating. That's, no? that's mating. That's mating? Mating. I, do you remember the one they opened up here? Uh, how they, they got away with it in Sunrise. You know what they called it? Yeah. Plato's Repeat. Exactly. So what they, I remember. Yeah. So what how they, do you know about that? Well, you know, I'm a world. There was guy. another one called the trapeze. Oh yes, I, trapeze. how do you know about that? Let me tell you something. You I fell off. Know. I fell off that trapeze. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Now what? What Plato's repeat? How they got away with? I want to show you how smart some marketing people are. They couldn't get a liquor license, so it was BYO. Bring and, your own. Yeah, and there was there was so much going on there with husbands and wives. B-Y-O-B. It was like a swinger B-Y-O-B, place. Right? Now. A what? A swing of place. A swing is when mates like like. I swingers. know what it means. Okay. That's not what it's called. Oh. That's not what it's called. A swingers place. Uh, I don't know. Swingers. <laughs> that's a whole different topic. No wait a second. Wait. Oh. I don't you know, know if I would be comfortable. You know, they say to me, uh, "Have you ever cheated on your wife?" I said, "No." Okay. I and I said one of the reasons is a you love your wife. Exactly. But the other thing is how I how I would feel if my wife did it to me. Exactly. So, I mean, so I'm very happy with my marriage. And you know what? This is the one I decide to be with for the rest of my life. She might not feel the same way, but no, I'm only kidding. No, but at the same time, how would you feel about yourself? Yeah. How would you sleep at night? I mean, I couldn't, I, look, I couldn't look in the mirror. It's weird. Yeah. Some people just don't, don't care. They just do it and just keep going yeah. with their day. But somehow there's people who have some kind of integrity. Yeah. And they cannot even sleep with their own self knowing they were with somebody else. Oh, I agree. I know some people that don't care. Well, that's a very Daisy, I'm gonna tell you, you about marriage and, and having affairs. Daisy is I am too sweet. Naive. Daisy is cool. I am naive. No, no, no. Daisy is cool. You are the best salesperson I've ever met in my life. Oh boy, I'm going to the car to get my boots because I have to be able to sleep at night. I don't get that. Anyway, listen, I want to take a hard break. Liz, I got to take a break because I got to. Go okay, guys, I'm going to go anyway. Freddie, check your cell phone. I think they just sent you a photo. Yes. It, uh, does okay. everyone have the clothes on? Have a great rest of your show, guys. It sounds like a blast. Sorry I missed it. Mwah. Bye-bye. 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 We have likes on right. Facebook. How we have new likes? likes. We have Josefina. We also have oh, Luz Cruz from New York. Say All right. Hello. Hey, News Cruz. Call us. Cool. Don't take a break, Fred. We only got four minutes I to go. I noticed that. I didn't, I didn't realize no. that. No. Oh, yeah, see that? People do listen to this show. Aww. You know what? I think it's because they saw what Daisy looks like. That's the pic- I put the picture, so they press like. Okay, oh, so. Yes, I got a picture of, of her and Clint Moore. With the <laughs> oh, really? Cool. Post it. We'll post yeah, it. Post yeah. It. Um, all Did right, you- so let's keep going then. So, well, so the, the object of the game, nobody in this room is has the nerve to say they've been on the dating site. Oh, I've never been because I've been, they didn't have they, they didn't have this. You've never been on plenty of fish. I've been dating the old-fashioned way. You ever yeah. heard of plenty of fish? No plenty of fish. Oh I yes, know yes, of fish, I heard about it. Have you ever been on it? No. Every wackadoodle in the world's on that site. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's a, a free site. But Forty-five never, years ago, they didn't have the internet, so you met in person. And you've been married for how long? Forty-five years. There you go. That's yeah, he why. Does, he started living when he was forty-five. Anyway, actually, you're right. When I met her, my whole life did change Aww. for the better. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Yeah, I got a great lady. Aww. I really do. I'm very lucky. I want to meet her. Yeah, she was. Yeah, once in a while, uh, I'll yeah, show she you. Comes. Huh? She comes? No, she's happy just being home. She, you know, she's, she lets me do it. Well, you're good with this. This is her. I don't know how to get it so you can see the whole face. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she really is beautiful. And that was a year ago. What are you posting? We're taking pictures. What are you stuff? taking pictures now? <laughs> no, I want to show Daisy my wife. She is well, lovely. Can you do she this is after gorgeous. the show. You guys are on Look the air. Look at the bonds. Yeah. Chips. 
She's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she Good is. Job. She is She's a lovely she, woman. She's a All right. So we you come to the conclusion that it doesn't matter. You date, you date, right? Yeah, just try to be safe. Yes. Because very important, when That's it comes right. to internet dating, you really have to take your, uh, what is the uh, word? I'm trying to think of it. You're taking your wife in your own hands, basically. Exactly. Yeah, try see. to go to a safe place. Try to go to a place. Do not give your address. Do nope. not. Uh, okay, but come and pick, him, pick me up at home or at work. That's yes. even worse. I don't know which one is worse. No. Work or home. It's, it's bad. Meet at a cafe. Meet at Cafeteria. Starbucks. Far away from home, and just you know, if you don't feel comfortable, is as in the minute that you go in there, there's something in you that says something is not right. Oh, I Get agree. Get out. I agree. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Listen to that. Listen to that voice. Listen to your own heart. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So be careful out there with the and dating. How long, how long were you dating before you decided to get married? Uh, a while. Long time. Uh, yeah, a while. More than five years. More or less. Huh. Oh, that's good. You, uh, you know what? You waited for the best thing to come. Look, Daisy. You waited yes. for the man who you wanted. Exactly. It's going to yeah, come. I took my time. It's going to come. I took my time. Everybody was like, what's going on? You're by yourself. I'm not just going to get married just because. Just because. You know? I mean, you know, I always I said to my, I say to my daughter, I said, Luis, always remember one thing. Always have an education, which she does, mm -hmm. and never, ever, ever have Settle. to rely on a man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For, for the safety or security. It'll come. And she's been with this guy now for 13 years, and That's it's great. Wonderful. And don't settle for whatever. No. Don't settle. You deserve what you, and you know. don't listen to your friends. Exactly. Just listen to your heart. That's right. You can wait, and it will come. If it doesn't come, just happy, be happy with yourself. Exactly. But don't be with somebody just because, oh, I don't want to be alone. Yeah, no, right. da, 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 da. no, that's BS. But anyways. No, you're it. right. She said BS. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> But but Daisy's a professional broadcast. I you can tell yes. that she knows what she's doing. I'm not gonna she's say smooth, any. Yeah, very, very smooth, smooth, very very <laughs> smooth. <laughs> All right, so, so we got uh, nothing accomplished. Well, I, what do you mean? Yeah, we did because what's my baby? Listen, I wasn't looking for the mother. We, we got two women mother here. Mother Teresa. <laughs> mother Teresa, be careful. Oh, did you see yesterday that the Pope changing gears? That the Pope in Mexico, he got mad at somebody in the in the in the audience. Did you see that? Oh, no. no, I did not see, no, that. I see that. The Pope one. went wacko. What? Pope in Mexico? Pape, yeah, he got, do you know, do you know why and he I went, happen to love hold this Pope. On, hold on, hold on. He guy. seems nice. Why, why did yeah. he, he seems hold nice. on, Connecticut, why he go wacko? I don't know. He said something about don't be uh, selfish. No yes, sea he egoista. scolded somebody because they kept grabbing at him. And he was blessing a child. Oh. And and, and he said, to, man, oh but my he goodness. got violent. In Spanish, he said it. He has more. He like, said it. In, he's cursed the guy out in twelve languages. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you see the Twitter account of the Pope? Have you seen the Twitter account? <laughs> no. How many people has he got? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's unbelievable. This guy. So, and he has different Twitter accounts with different languages. But he's but he's a good Pope. I like this Pope. I like him. So, uh, he's, he's taking he's, the time to yes, be with the people, yes. to be part and he, of. And him. he's real. He, yeah. he understands what's happening into this world. No, I think this Pope is a great Pope. There's a lot of things going on now with the Catholic Church that we really need a leader in there yeah. to, you know, yeah. have kind you, of... Have you... Just straighten it out, I agree. Ha, have you seen that the the Pope that was uh, is going to be a saint is was sainted, the last oh, Pope? Oh, the, the John Paul? John, yeah, John, John Paul. Paul. John Paul, Did you yes. hear the latest on him? No, what he, happened um, He him? apparently had a coochie-coochie when he was a priest. Oh, with who? But I'm, I'm not going to... I'm going to take that back. It was, they said no sex, <laughs> but more than friends. Gucci, Gucci. Well, he's a human being. I mean, come on. That's what I say. Why? Why can't he's a what? the Catholic he's Church? A, he's a yeah. man. I mean, that, I mean, what are we trying to say that he is, doesn't feel anything? Yeah, he. That's what I understand about the he Catholic Church. He made a mistake, Church. and then they take it back. Now, oh. when he's hurting somebody, when one of these guys are hurting children, right. that's a problem, right? Thank there. you. Thank but you. But with an adult? No, I agree. Consent? You know. I agree. I mean, why not? They they deserve to be happy. And they can make mistakes, too. I love the way the Jew says they deserve to be happy. You, <laughs> you know, you're unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve to be happy. Well, what are you? They. What are you? They, they, they. Those the, people. They. They deserve <laughs> to be happy. As long as they ain't my people. My people are I never catch happy. A, I, catch, I catch a rabbi. Oh, I'm okay, I got one for you. I got, well, I got, hold it, hold it. I got text. I got text. A rabbi in New York. Yeah. There's something that the rabbi does when he does the circumcision. Yeah. What does he do, Les? He says prayers. No, he does something physical, Les. Oh, no. He, he takes the... He, takes he the kisses the private area. I've no, never no. seen yes, that I happen. Yes, I've never heard of 
I have the article. I'll send it to you. I'm, I, I've been circumcised. I, my whole family's been well, circumcised. this particular rabbi. Then there's something wrong with him. 500 kids, herpes. I'm going to send it to you. I don't know if it's true. The, no, the rabbi cuts off okay. the, the edge. And that, let's not, let me just say this. <laughs> no, I if mean, you've, seriously. All Jewish people, rabbis, we're never happy. You're never happy. They say, how you feel? Well, you know, I got a pain in my head. <laughs> I saw my doctor. He told me I got a year to live. I said, what happened? He said, he should have told me last year. <laughs> <laughs> he should have told me last year? That's good. That's good. The, That's good job, the, the, the guy comes into the doctor. The doctor comes into the hospital. And he says to the guy, I got good news. And, I got, and he says, I got bad news and really bad news. Ooh. He said, what do you want first? He says, well, the bad news is you only have a day to live. He oh. said, what's, what's the really, really bad news I was supposed to tell you yesterday? <laughs> well, what the hell was one in my ear? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bell, and we got oh, one minute. Oh, we got okay. one minute. Well, Freddie, let's, Daisy, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had you a blast. So much for being here. You were, you were a joy to listen to. I just adore you. You were funny. Aww. You made this show Yay. even better. So I hope you're going to come back. I loved it. I had a blast. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, she'll be oh, back tomorrow. Pleasure. Well, I want to tell everybody, we'll be, I won't be here tomorrow. I go and play golf. Nice. And that was a deal I made with Freddie that I could play golf one yes, day a week absolutely, only. Absolutely. And I want to thank everybody. Again, Daisy, thank you so much. Freddie S., thank you so much. 30 seconds, say goodbye. thank you, uh, you so much. And we'll sure. see you next week. And We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and Renzo, whoa. Ooh. Thank you, thank you for the best pizza I've had since I've been in New York. We'll see you tomorrow. Say Two goodbye, boys from Ollie. Brooklyn. Goodbye, Ali. Well, that's about it for today's lunch break with two boys from Brooklyn. You're invited to join the break every day, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. So, if you missed some of the good stuff they served up today, there's more coming next time. Bring your lunch and the boys from Brooklyn will bring the smiles. And it's all live. See you next time. Now, go and enjoy the rest of your day.